So we've covered up to this point the structure of the ribbon. Now we're going to start to cover some of the functionality by way of the keyboard shortcuts and the visibility settings and options you have for displaying the ribbon or not. So back in Excel again. You can activate the command buttons on the ribbon in a couple of different ways. You can of course click on them, which is probably the common way that it's done. But you also have the option to press the Alt key and when you do that, you get first a layer of letters associated with the tabs. I can press one of those letters, let's say M for formulas, and I go to the formula tab, and now I have additional letters that are associated with the command options and the command groups. For instance, I can press T and look at the text functions, and I can down arrow and select one of these by pressing Enter, and I can yet go to one more level by pressing F and get the insert function dialog box. So I'm going to escape out of that, Another thing you can do is press the Alt key to again get you up into the tabs and then use the arrow keys to move around first the tabs and then into the command options on that tab. When you get to the place that you want to actually activate, press Enter. So I've activated the clipboard. I'm going to close that. Press Alt to get back up to the tabs and arrow my way to the page layout and if I want to look at the themes I can choose that and press enter and then I can arrow around to the different choices that I have choose one and press enter and if it turns out that I went to the wrong place I can press escape and get back up into the ribbon and continue selecting the different options that I have here with the arrow keys now you may find yourself getting stuck in some functionality. I'm pressing the arrow key and I'm not able to leave this command option. So I can tab to go to the next one and then continue using the arrow keys to navigate around in the ribbon. So generally what happens, at least this is how I use this functionality, is I have some keyboard shortcuts that I've memorized. But if you're really good at the keyboard, which I am not, you can sort of set yourself up with the keyboard a central command and drive changes in your worksheet by using the ribbon commands via the keyboard. So the second thing we're going to talk about is hiding the ribbon. There are several different ways to go about doing this and there are two ribbon settings that we can utilize. One is to just display the tabs. There's several ways to do this. I can press Control F1 to just display the tabs and when you have the ribbon display in this mode, it's accessible by clicking one of the tabs and you can get the commands and the command groups. And then you click down back into the worksheet area and it gets re-hidden. So the ribbon is hidden, but it's still accessible. I'm going to press Control F1 to undo that. The other way to activate that is to double click the active tab. And once again, I can click one of the tabs and display the command and command groups for that particular ribbon and hide the ribbon again by clicking down in the worksheet area. The way to undo this is to double click the active tab and we redisplay the ribbon. If you want even more workspace, you can go to this setting where we can hide the entire ribbon. And when we do that, we also hide the quick access toolbar. But once again, it's hidden, but it's available. So I can click this bar and drop it down and make any selection that I want to as far as the commands and the command groups and then when I click back down in the worksheet area it gets re-hidden. To undo that we go up here to the ellipses that's showing, drop down the menu and click show tabs and commands. So that's some information about the ribbon functionality. We talked about the keyboard shortcuts and how we can navigate around the ribbon and the commands and the command groups using either the letters that show up for keyboard shortcuts or the arrow keys on the keyboard. And we also looked at controlling the visibility of the ribbon, where we could hide the ribbon so we just display the tabs, or we can hide the entire ribbon.